Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a Leader LDC822 digital counter. This is an 80 megahertz seven digit counter. Has three, uh, three gate time ranges, a uh, tenth of a second, one second, and ten seconds. It'll measure frequency and period, and it has three voltage sensitivity ranges, uh, two volts RMS, 0.2 volts, and 0.02 volts. Uh, it's one mega ohm input, and it says it will take 100 volts max, but I don't plan on testing that out. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while, mainly because of the vacuum fluorescent display it has. Uh, there were some later models of this same counter that had an LED display, um, but you know, I kind of like old stuff, and this came up on eBay and it looked to be in good shape, so pulled the trigger on it. Uh, when I got it, all it needed was a little bit of cleanup on the front panel. Uh, the switches were a little noisy, a little bit of contact cleaner in those, and um, it's kind of good as new. So let's uh, let's hook up a function generator to it, and uh, let's watch it count. All right, I've got my UTG962 function generator hooked up to the LDC822, and I'm sending a one kilohertz sine wave in, and we can see it's measuring one kilohertz. Let's walk through uh, some of the frequencies here. Let's go two, three, six, ten kilohertz. Let's do fifty, hundred kilohertz. 400, 700. So we're measuring one megahertz on the kilohertz range. Let's keep going. This five, eight kilohertz, nine. And at 10 kilohertz, we hit overflow. Sorry, 10 megahertz rather. So we switch to the megahertz scale. We've got 10, 40, 50, 60. So 60 megahertz is the max that this function generator will put out. Let's, uh, let's take a look down a little bit lower and then I'll hook up the tiny SA and use its function generator, it generator which can go up much higher than 60 megahertz and we'll see what the top end on this looks like. So let's uh, let's go back to 1 kilohertz. Let's go down. Oh. Let's do 500 hertz. Down to 100 hertz. Fifty, ten, five hertz, still looking good. Go down to one hertz. So if we now go to the ten second gate range, and I'm going to bring this down to. 500 millihertz. There we go. Uh, I've tried this lower than 500 millihertz. This is the this is the the practical bottom end of the range for it. Um, if we go and do period. I'm going to do something a little bit higher than 500 millihertz because that's going to take a long time to count. So let's do let's do one. I 
actually let's not do one you know what let's do 100 hertz there we go and 100 hertz is is 10 milliseconds if we go down to 10 hertz So, and you can reset the period counter. I mean, you can also reset the, the frequency count as well. So let me hook up my tiny SA and let's see how this works up to 80 megahertz and beyond. All right, so I have the tiny SA hooked up and we're outputting a 10 megahertz signal. Let's go back to up to where we were at 60. And looks good. Oh. There we go. Let's go to 70 megahertz. Let's go to 80. Let's try 90. Still looks good at 90. Let's go to 99. Mm, not so good. Let's try 91. Let's go to 94. Yeah, it's all right. It's starting to get a little little wonky at around 94. So uh, let's say, you know, 91, 92 megahertz is probably the upper end of this. So not too bad. Um, you know, it's rated it's rated at 80. So we can you can do you can do let's say you know, let's just settle in. You can do 90 reliably with it. Not too bad. So give me a second to set up and we'll take a quick look inside, see what that looks like. All right, and we're inside. It's really nice clean design inside. No surface mount parts. Everything is through hull. It looks to be a honestly pretty serviceable piece of equipment if you needed to. Uh, a lot of logic ICs here do all the dividing and counting. Uh, this big chip right here, let me see if I can tilt a little bit better. The big chip in there, that's the main main Toshiba counter chip that it's based off of. If we look inside this way, we can see that's the display board and the driver. see if I can get a little bit closer here there you go all the transistor drivers for all the segments on the board all in all it's a it's a nice clean design inside um, I really love the way old equipment looks inside um, I mean surface mount stuff is cool and all that but I really like older PC boards I just think they look I think they look really, really nice. Well, we've got a little voltage regulator on the back here. A little smoothing cap, fuse, There's even some uh, input protection with the power coming in. So, nice design. All right, let's put the cover back on. All right, so that's it for this look at the Leader LDC822 digital counter. Uh, nice little counter, nice vintagey look, functions really well. 
uh, if you need a basic counter for your bench, uh, you can't go wrong with this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Questions, comments, you can leave them below. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Take care.